Today we've got the good old behemoth FPV wing with the GoPro in the front. We've got 2.4 gigahertz video transmission for the FPV and dragon link for control. It's running three 3000 milliamp hour four cell batteries in parallel and it's got an old Cyclops OSD system in it. I'm gonna fly up that way towards those mountains and see how far I can get. Probably won't get to the very top of the peaks because that's really far away, but we'll see. Okay. I have not used this thing or flown this plane in a really long time. Okay, now I'm gonna test the return to home function just to see if it works at all. Return to home. Oh yeah, seems to be working sort of well. Usually this wing will start to oscillate on the pitch when it's in return to home. So, yep, like that. Take it out of return to home. It seems to climb at 20 amps pretty quickly. So I'll go to like 16 amps here and just cruise towards the mountains. The sun is like directly uh, in the direction that I want to go, so I'll just aim at the sun. That makes it easy. It's pretty windy as you can probably hear in the microphone. It's like 10 to 15 mile an hour wind right now, probably 15. I'm sure it's more windy up high where the plane is. I'm hoping to do a lot more FPV this spring. I really haven't done very much in the past year or so. This plane has been just hanging on my wall for forever, so it's good to get out and finally fly it. I've also got a Sky Hunter I need to get going here. It has uh, 100, or it has 1300 megahertz video, so that's a change. I usually use 2.4, so I'm interested to do some range tests with that 1300 megahertz and see what I can do with it. So I've got a circularly polarized uh, directional antenna here. It's a video aerial systems CP antenna. And I've also got on my fat shark goggles that are back behind me, I've got a little omnidirectional antenna with a built-in 2.4 gigahertz module. So I'll grab that and then uh, test it here compared to this directional antenna and see how the video signals differ. Plug this guy in. Oh wow, this has a pretty clean signal, actually. It's actually a lot more staticky. There's definitely a lot more noise in the video, actually, than the directional antenna. But I still have a picture, so that's good. These are good to have as a backup, though. Just in case my video goes out, I can plug these in and hope it helps. Okay, I'm gonna bump up my throttle a little bit and start to climb more just because it's pretty windy and I don't want to get in turbulence from these mountains. I'm recording the FPV stream on this little monitor over here. It seems to be working pretty well. It's also a good backup in case the uh, goggles fail. So this mountain range that I'm facing right now is called the Stansbury Mountains. And it's kind of an interesting mountain range because it's just like that the peak right in front that you see is uh, an 11,000 foot peak and it's just surrounded by desert the Great Salt Lake Desert specifically so it's kind of really remote I attempted to hike it I hear there's people shooting guns over there hopefully they're not shooting towards me but I attempted to hike this mountain range like a year and a half ago and I didn't make it very far because it was in the fall and there was too much snow. I was trying to get to the top of this peak that you see in front here. But on my way up I saw a mountain lion, so that's cool. But this, uh, this spring or summer I'd like to go back and try and get all the way up to the top of that peak. It's definitely pretty bumpy up there. I'm going to do a turn back towards the valley um, just to gain some more altitude. It's definitely kind of sketchy flying such an old plane that I haven't really flown in so long and don't really know for sure if it if everything's working well, but it seems to be going fine. Okay, I'm gonna turn back around to the mountain range. On the 
the other side of this mountain range is a military base, so I probably don't want to go past it. But there is a really long valley out there that I, I'm thinking would be good for testing long range FPV. It would be good to test the 1300 megahertz system that's on the Sky Hunter. That's interesting. My video signal's a lot better now than it was earlier when I was in the same location. Strange. So I'm at 23 amps just about, and this is exactly half throttle. So this wing has definitely got some power. Climbs pretty well at half throttle. I'm starting to be able to see over to the other side of the mountain range, that's cool. I'll do some turns here to get better views. The Great Salt Lake is out that way to the north. You can probably see it through the GoPro view a lot better than I can. Do a turn back. I didn't think I'd get this far to be honest. Let's point south and see what we see. Just more mountains. Here we are coming up to the main peak. Huh, video signal's not so good. I think it's better when I face south. It seems like it's gotten a lot calmer though. The plane is acting really docile right now, so that's good. Tilt down a little bit, glide and look at the peak. That's awesome. Start to throttle up again. I'm not too uh, aggressive here. I'm not going to get close to it. Definitely seems to be a bit more bumpy now that I'm closer to the peak. Lost a little bit of altitude during that glide. Ooh, that's cool. Seeing over to the other side. Sweet. This is awesome. I should be getting some lift right here if the wind is northeast like it seems to be where I am right now. And do a turn back towards the peak again. Definitely lost a little altitude. It's not so much as a, a peak as it is just a ridge line. Looks like there's a chute there you could ski down. All right, I don't want to push my luck. I'm gonna head home. I think that's the farthest I've flown with this plane. I'm gonna bump up my throttle a little bit just because I'm bored. My video signal's not as good on the way back. That's interesting. I haven't been making a ton of videos lately. I've just been busy with school. This is my last semester of college, so I've got about four more weeks of school left, then I'm done. Hopefully this spring I'll be able to make a few videos before I go do some traveling. I'm gonna go to Southeast Asia for a little while and Nepal. Backpack around the countries there. So that should be fun. Probably won't be able to make any RC related videos when I'm there, but actually definitely won't be able to, seeing that I'll be living out of a backpack. <laughs> but maybe I'll make some vlog type videos or something like that, I don't know. I'm definitely losing a lot of altitude, which is kind of surprising because I'm not gliding, I'm kind of at like a cruise throttle amount, but I'll bump it up to 18, 20 amps here. I think I'm kind of going into the wind now, which of course isn't ideal to go into the wind on your uh, home direction. I'll probably be able to make it. Okay, I'm gonna lower my throttle, actually just completely turn it off and do some gliding and see how far I get. My ground speed is 85 miles or 85 kilometers an hour. My airspeed is 91 kilometers an hour. I don't know how accurate the airspeed is though. I would definitely trust the GPS speed over the airspeed. Landing is going to be interesting because this road is kind of crappy. It's going to be a rough landing. I'll see if I can do a flyby. Wow, that was a nice sound. <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna try and tilt this camera to the road that I'm gonna land on. Like that. Oh, hit a bush. Oh, it was hard to see how far I was away from the bushes. This plane was just way up there. That's pretty far. The whole thing weighs about seven pounds, fully loaded with batteries. It's a good plane. Hopefully I'll get a few more flights out of it before I retire it. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere, so we may as well see what happens when we light this entire jar of fireworks on fire. <laughs> 